Hi, my name is Ankur and I am Sudhanshu. Welcome, Welcome to, to ASC, ASC Group. Group. Today we will be discussing regarding the EPR registration under the category of electronic waste. So Ankur, we, I have certain questions right. uh, regarding e-waste registration. So first okay. of all, I want to know that what kind of company qualifies under electric waste or electronic waste, what it is. Okay. So first of all, thank you so much for asking this question, Sudhanshu. If I talk about today, it's a very generic topic for everyone and there is a lot of confusion in this because when it comes to the electronic waste, where we are supposed to have a clear meaning, E stands for electronic, particularly not electrical. People got confused in that also. So when it comes to electronic waste, these are applicable on those companies who are, who are actually dealing with the product that falls under Schedule 1 okay okay so for schedule one if suppose any companies fall uh, dealing with the product that falls under schedule one they need to take this registration by default okay okay and Ankur, i also want to know this thing that what are the compliances so once a company once mm -hmm. an organization gets the registration mm -hmm. what are the compliances related with e-waste so basically when it comes to the compliances the company have two major obligations with regards okay. to this rule the first obligation is to get their self registered okay. okay and the second obligation as part of the compliances would be company need to file quarterly returns okay annual returns then there there would be a definitely a recycling target that has to be meted by the company uh -huh. they need to fulfill their recycling liabilities and at last there is one seminar also a public awareness program that the company need to conduct as part of the compliances of this epr okay yeah so these okay. all are the compliances a company need to do and uh, how and where can i find that whether the product that i have in my organization are falling under the electronic waste category so as i have mentioned in my comments too that uh, if a company is uh, dealing with the product that falls under schedule one so they need to take registration so a company need to evaluate the schedule one and they need to check according to their product characteristic that whether their product is falling under that or not and uh, for you you can reach out to me as well you can share your company's brochure and i would be happy to help you okay yeah. okay uh, one more thing angur yeah uh, so under plastic waste there were categories of a pibo that we call it right uh, producer Correct. importer and brand owner Correct. but i have noticed that uh, under e-waste there is no such category so what what is it so in uh, in e-waste exactly uh, i mean whatever the company nature would be whether we are a manufacturer whether we are a producer or an importer the com the department will uh, provide the category of producer only so in certificate okay. the whatever things we would be getting this we will be get a category of producer only uh, so which means that even if i am a brand owner even if i am a importer i have to you apply have to. for a certificate of a producer only yes okay now i am also hearing that there is a concept of a bulk consumer in e-waste so yes, what is a bulk right. consumer and and what are what are the criteria of bulk consumer so when it comes to the bulk consumer the the basic criteria is if a company whosoever uh, we are supposed to take a registration as a bulk consumer they need to use a minimum quantity of 100 or oh, sorry 1000 pieces okay of any product which falls under schedule 1 then only they would be liable to take a registration under bulk consumer okay yeah. okay Thank you, Ankur. That was uh, pretty insight yeah. that the information that you have provided us. So these, is, these are the basic things which we need to understand regarding EPR. And for more information, you can reach out to us. You can access our website as well. You can log on and uh, you would be able to find more updates regarding this topic. And in case you want to evaluate your portfolio or you want to evaluate that whether your product is falling under EPR schedule one or not, you can directly share your company's brochure with us and we would be happy to help you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, it was all about uh, electronic waste management under EPR. I hope we were able to answer all your questions and queries. If you have any other inquiries, please do feel free to reach out to us on the below mentioned number. <laughs> also, we have uh, made a small video on plastic waste management. Please do check it out. Like, subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.